Hello, wonderful people. It's good to have you on this maiden edition of Marriage Spices. We are so excited because this maiden edition is featuring our father and mother in the Lord. I'm talking about His Eminence, the national president of the Christian Association of Nigeria and also the president of the Nigeria Baptist Convention. Reverend Dr. and Pastor Mrs. Samson Olashupo Ayokunle. I pray that the Lord will give you revelation, uh, give you understanding about their life experience. God bless you. Amen. This is uh, Pastor Mrs. Deborah Oluatoyi Ayokunle Neadeshuko, the wife of the Reverend Dr. Samson Olasupo A. Ayokunle, the President of Nigerian Baptist Convention, the Visitor to Bowen University and all theological institutions of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, the president of Christian Association of Nigeria, and the international vice president of the Baptist World Alliance. started many years ago and uh, the, the year I was, I didn't go to secondary school very early and uh, I exited secondary school when I was in my 20s. Wow. Uh, because I started primary school at about the age of 10 and from there I went to modern school. Then from modern school now to secondary grammar school. Mm -hmm. So age had gone. However, while in school, I was the leader of Christian Fellowship, the student Christian movement by that time. So all of them, they were juniors, uh, our juniors, and uh, <laughs> as fellowship coordinator. The final year, when I was to exit the school, I had the revelation. And I saw her that I was going to marry her. And uh, since I didn't know how to open my mouth to any woman, I, I didn't, and I felt that I should not ridicule myself because I have had the honor, the privilege of being seen as a spiritual mentor to many of them. They, but the, I was praying to God for the wisdom so that if I talk to her, she will not think that it came out of lust. Mm. So I was so, I was so much in a dilemma. And, uh, and we were about graduating and uh, the, the hold of what I saw did not leave me. It was so strong. So I called one of my friends, I allowed him to know. I said, well, the message has to be conveyed one way or the other, in whatever way. So when I prayed through, then the Lord ministered to my heart that he will prepare pure heart mm -hmm. so as to know the symbol, the symbolic way I was going to communicate with her. So that day when I, the Lord told me, I should tell her to go and read, uh, first Corinthians 13 and come and give me the meaning. So when I saw her, I was a private in the school. I called her, I said, please Tony, uh, there is a message given to me which I need to relate to you. And it's about a passage of the scripture. Go and read it and come and tell me the meaning of it. She got she went there, she got the meaning and she started evading me. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> For almost two months in the in the school campus, until one day she didn't know she would meet me there. We just met. Mm. And I, said, I gave you a, this message, and uh, she said yes. I've been praying. I'm still praying over it. And, uh, and because that first Corinthians chapter thirteen mm. talks about love mm. and characteristics of love, mm. so I knew then that where is going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was how it started. Mm. Uh, very soon we started the white exam, and I, I led the school. Uh, ups, ups and downs, ups and downs, outside. Because we have to be separated and we were not together. But uh, the the Lord gave me another revelation, gave me another revelation, which made my heart to stabilize that. Now she gave me when before she gave an answer, God already gave her a revelation. She saw herself locked up in as in a police station. Mm. And we, people were surprised. Why did, should they lock you up? The, the parents had, the mother went there to see the police. The police were fouling, ready to beat the mother. They didn't allow her to come near to rescue the daughter. The dad went. They didn't allow the dad to move near to, to rescue the daughter. Later they told me, and I went to the police station. And in the revelations, he said, when the police saw me coming, they stood up and they made a salute. Wow. And I just did like this, and I went to the cell, I opened her, I took her, and mm. I walked away with her. Wow, wow, Without wow. Without taking wow. any money wow. from wow. No. Wow. That's, and, that's, that's, that's. And she saw it clearly. Wow. That at a stage in her life, the parents will not be suitable. Mm. This is the person that we carry mm. on with the role of parents mm. and uh, destiny helper. Mm. in your life. Mm. So that was how the journey wow. started. Well, uh, marriage, according to the Word of God in Genesis chapter 2, from verse 18, it was God. Mm. Who instituted it? Yeah. He thought of it when he created Adam. I said, No, it's not good for this man to be living in you. Mm. I look for an admit for him. Mm. And he did the process, the surgery, mm. how he made the man to fall into deep sleep and he brought out the woman. And he took the woman to him and said, Look, this is. The person I brought to you, and that was how God started it. And even till He comes back to take us to eternity, that is how it should be. Uh, that's the reason why uh, you know the the youth of today they're unable to stand the challenges of uh, the part of marriage mm -hmm. because they did not really believe that. It is God's made, mm. God's making, mm. and it is the gift of God. Yes. He thought of it. It's not your own plan at all. Mm. They will have been living alone like, just like that, but they must, we must understand that it is the gift of God. And God did it, and he said there should be no separation mm. between them. And one thing again that we should note today is that the program, the institution, was executed by God and it is between a female and a male. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let, let me add a little that from the, the what mommy has said, mom, uh, marriage is the divine act of God being bringing together two helpmates mm. in love relationship. The bringing together of two helpmates, helpmates in a loving, lifelong loving relationship. Uh, so it is 
it's an initiation of God. It, the beginning of it is beyond the wisdom of man. The, the urge I felt that day was an urge that uh, captivated me, that overwhelmed me. Mm. I didn't see the way I can escape out of it, get out of it. So it is not by what you desire from your eyes mm. or your heart or the picture you have drawn for yourself. A woman may have all the features that you like in life, but does not have the mind mm -hmm. that will give you peace. So that is the reason God, God's face must be sought mm -hmm. and his will must be done. God does not think as man thinks. God does not see as man sees. Man looks at the outward. Mm -hmm. God looks at the inward. So the wife you, you, you marry, by and large, is the inward person. The inner man is the one that is suitable for you, that God makes for you. That does not mean that beauty does not play a part. But when God made that choice, you will see the beauty there. You will see the satisfaction there. And what is missing in the physical features will be compensated for in other ways, especially the virtues mm. that is so much the most required thing to sustain the family. The Bible randomly condemns same-sex marriage from Old Testament to New Testament. In fact, Paul spoke vehemently against it in the book of Romans. So, uh, God did not only initially intend that uh, opposite cells would be marrying themselves mm. for man. He intended it for animals too. And up to today, no animal has contemplated changing that standard of God. Yes, sir. Uh, a lioness Mm. Team mates with a lion, mm. uh, etc. etc. You will never see a male dog mm. meeting with a male dog. Yes, they are not as foolish and senseless as that. Yes, sir. It is only man, because the heart of man is desperately wicked. And God even regretted that He has made man. Mm. Uh, the seed of Satan that entered man during the fall in the Garden of Eden, has perverted the thinking of man and has already set up man against God's will. So to me, from the point of view of scripture, same-sex marriage is rebellion against God and the love of God concerning marriage. You should be an example of what you say and preach. And God's standard does not change because of my failure. We will serve God at his own terms, not at our own terms. So the, the fact that he may still succeed, but he cannot reach his limit because there is a dent already. So it is better not to allow the dent mm. than to be struggling with the dead. Mm. So, uh, so failing in the area of marriage, the emperor Paul says that if a person cannot control his own household, how can he or she control the church of God? Mm. So the Bible is emphatic about it, that the totality of the man of God is the totality of her adherence mm. to the injunctions of the scriptures. Well, marriage uh, should have a root in the Lord. Yes. Meaning, the two must be born again. And today, the way some people are saying they are born again, we will question it. 
Because right from the beginning, their salvation is not so strong. Uh, and when they are growing up too, I don't know, if you are not walking by the Spirit, you are not filled with the Spirit, you are not living right with God. Holiness unto the Lord. Mm. And that is the word that crown everything. If you know that you must be holy, as your father is holy, and you know your father, that you not play with whatsoever is not the will of God, or whatsoever will make you to fall as a child of God. Forget about being a servant of God now. A male child of God must know that he must live a holy life before them. And so whatsoever I should run away from, she should run away from it. She should run away from lust of flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Mm. And to the glory of God, I thank God for my husband. He doesn't play with the uh, pranks of the opposite sex at all. Mm. In fact, for you to come near him, to do, to, 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 to greet as the, 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 the white people used to greet today, you know? Okay, Our yeah, youth, they hug, they do so many things. Those things make them to fall mm. into the temptation. Yes. But when you can keep a boundary, yes. you can have a boundary between yourself and the opposite sex, you'll be able to overcome a, 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 a little bit. Mm. Then, at the same time, you must be sensitive mm. to the spirit. Mm. The signing of the spirit, you need the gift of the spirit. Mm. The signing of the spirit, even when that female is coming. I remembered one day, a f woman was sitting in our former church and she just opened her thighs mm. like this. From the pulpit, my husband said, Woman, sit well. That's and right. You cannot sit well, go to the back. That's right. And those things have been helping him to live and to stand tall among so many that are falling into the hands of those excess scandal. Uh, let me also so hard that no servant of God is a strong man. Mm. That's right, sir. The strong man in us is the Lord. As much as possible, let the spirit man be stronger than your body and your soul. The spirit should rule the body and the soul. That's the order. That's the spiritual authority, the spiritual order. And for the spirit man to be in charge, which is in tune with God all the time, your Bible study personal and public mm. must be impeccable. Your prayer life, you don't joke with. And again, the Bible says, be circumspect in all things. Watch thou, he that thinks that he stands, so to, to, so, so, to beware, mm. lest he falls. Mm. So when you know that there is no strong man, and we are no match for the devil, except for the Lord in us, then you will not think that I am strong, I can withstand it, and you can set boundary between the male and the female in terms of relationship. And that does not mean that you don't relate with the opposite sex, because they are still members of your church. They should have confidence in coming to you. But from your, the word of your mouth, your behavior, they know your mindset. And if anybody comes with temptation from the pit of hell, you quickly discern and know how to handle that matter yes. immediately because the spirit man is very strong mm. and the spirit man can be deceived but when the spirit man is talking you listen mm. don't wave it off don't think i'm strong i can handle it and don't put yourself in precarious situations yes, sir. everyone all the ministers surrounding you, you they are women mm. you you are on the way out because the Bible does not say that you, all your uh, uh, support staff should be women. No, he didn't say that. Jesus had them, men and female. And why didn't he choose a woman among the 12 disciples? Hmm. Why? Hmm. Well, 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 didn't have a, a sense of gender balance? Hmm. He did that because he... 
he, he felt that these are the people to be with him all the time. Mm. And he gave, he assigned other roles to the women mm. that cannot endanger his ministry. I'm not saying that uh, an opposite says is 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 a devil, mm. no, but the devil can use the the electricity between the man and the woman to cause havoc, yes, and we are not unaware of the tactics of the devil. Mm. Thank and you the very minister's much. wives should be praying for their husbands. Yes, ma'am. And they should satisfy them with sex. Yes, ma'am. It's not the perfect way. However, the Bible talks about separation when it is the best alternative without losing the faith. In the case of a non-believer, when a brother is married to a non-believer, or when there are irreconcilable differences between them and they can involve life mm. or uh, involve injuries to any of them, then the best alternative is for them to separate and think over the relationship again, reflect over what they have done right and what they have not done right, and be, be allow God to penetrate them differently wherever they are and uh, resolve to come back together again. They must have learned their lessons. And if they decide that to continue with their faith is very important than living together and they want to be separated for life, none of them must remarry until one of the partners is no more. Is no more. However, the best thing is, as Christians is to have quarrel and end it. Yes, sir. And let go. Yes, sir. Uh, but in cases where, uh, you know, separation uh, happens when pe even people say they are believers, when they marry by sight, not by the will of God. So the situation of separation we are talking of has if its root in a faulty marriage foundation. Yes, sir. Marital relationship, when there is a fault in the foundation, it will surely manifest thereafter. So, uh, the best thing is, but for better or for worse, you are together until death comes and separates you. But where life is being formed and other damages are going to happen, you can separate, but you remain unmarried. Otherwise, you will end up an adulterer, mm. and you will go to hell. Mm. I yes. just want to add that uh, the couple should be working on uh, individuals' weaknesses yeah. mm. and be praying seriously mm. on mm. it. Mm. Take it as a burden to the Lord. And as a Christian, you should manifest the uh, fruit of the Spirit. Endurance is part of it, perseverance. Mm. Our parents, they endured so many things. And that is the reason why their home mm. stood. Mm. Even with all those things that they, they passed they pass through, through. Mm. the mm. challenges they passed through, yes, they stood. Yes, because they have made up my mind, their mind that God has said there should be no separation. Mm. And so they stood, so. they went to the Lord. Mm. And that is my own uh, policy too. Mm. Mm. To take everything to God in prayer. Mm. Mm. And mm. to pray for the grace to persevere, to endure, and to... God has created us to serve Him and to serve humanity. Mm -hmm. If you have that in your mind, That's well, if I... That's is in my mind mm. and I know that whenever I is going out to serve God or to serve humanity in the offices God has called him into, I will mm. be praying for him. That's right. 
and my mind will be with him, my spirit will be with him. And when he's at home, ah, no, 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 we enjoy whatsoever, whatsoever we should enjoy in the room. I will feed him well, I will, we will play together, we will do everything together. Okay, so that okay. Will, okay. We are able to balance. Okay. Well, some people are given the gift of celibacy. Mm. If they know that they will not mess themselves up, they should stay by their commitment. But because of lack of self-control, the Bible enjoins us. Each person will have his own wife, yes, and each woman her own husband. Because it is better to be married than to born. Oh, mm. And it also no, is better not to be married than to born. So each person should stay in his calling. But if I say that I have separated myself to the Lord and I, I will be an inner of Jesus Christ, I will not touch a woman, I must stay by that. Mm. Because it is not by being a unmarried or by being married that you get to heaven but if you want to go extra mile in serving the lord having no nothing to divert your attention from the work of the law and you are decided not to be married stay by it because god does not understand deceit mm. or hypocrisy yes, sir. all hypocrites will go to hell so we should stay by our decision and live by it. That's the best and that's what God expects. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you because you instituted marriage and you pronounced your blessings upon marriage that they should multiply and increase so father because of this we want to stand upon your word that those who are waiting for the gift of children today open the windows of heaven Amen. and send down children Amen. from above Amen. Amen. the power for the woman and the man to come together and get pregnant. Lord, release upon them today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You gave us gifts of children and grandchildren. And so because of this, I plead, oh God, that you will remember those who are waiting for children today. Amen. And do them good. Amen. Amen. So I declare and I proclaim that the word of God will come upon you. Amen. Amen. And you will Receive the blessings Amen. of the womb today. Amen. Amen. And in nine months' time, yes, Lord. we will hear the testimony Amen. of the wonderful works of God Amen. that He performed in your life this afternoon in our home at this interview in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for you have done it. Thank you, Lord. Glory and honor be unto your name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord God Almighty. You are a master and lord over nature. Yes, and you also have power over the challenges of life. You that are coming to the world in the flesh mm -hmm. and are faced storms like us. You are a befitting high priest unto us. Yes, because in all ways you can feel how we feel. Mm -hmm. Lord God Almighty, Therefore, lift up the families that are facing storms into your care. The Lord, your word of authority mm. that, that makes the storm to cease, I pray you will speak it out. Amen. Amen. To every storm in every family. Amen. Hearing me now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Satan, take off your hand. Amen. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lose them. Amen. Let them go. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If they are the any spell cast over you, any hands of the wicked, any wicked spirit manipulation over your relationship or any inborn tendency supporting storm today receive your healing over Amen. them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive the touch of God. Amen. Amen. Let there be peace Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Peace be still. Amen. Peace be still. Amen. Peace be still. Amen. Peace be still. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, eternal Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Your people will, will witness serenity in their family. Amen. Amen. Your peace will prevail. Amen. Amen. Blessed be thy name, eternal God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. I pray that you will be the first to testify in Jesus' name. Yes, we want to thank our Father and Mother in the Lord, Reverend Dr. and Pastor Mrs. Samson Olashupo Ayokule. Thank you for sharing your life experience with us so generously. We pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, people, uh, by God's grace, I know you are expecting this week's episode of The House of a Stranger Season 2 is dropping on Friday as usual. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video, send in your comments and like the video. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.